the time of the year when leaves turn vibrant and temperatures drop. It's time to deck out your porch with pumpkins for an evening of fun filled with costumes, spooky treats, trick-or-treating, Halloween party games, and boozy Halloween cocktails. But amidst all the festivals, have you ever wondered about the origin and history of Halloween? Like, what does it even mean? And is it pagan or Christian? The answer, it's complicated. So let's dive into fun facts about the holiday and how its most popular traditions evolve. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, and today we will be discussing about the most popular tradition of the year and how far its roots go back in time. So let's get started. Halloween's holiday finds its origin in the Celtic festival of Samhain, which was celebrated around 2,000 years ago. This mostly involved costumes of a kind, with people wearing robes made of animals' heads and skin. At the time, this festival marked the end of the summer harvest and the beginning of winter and the last day before the new year for Celts. They also believed that during this time of the year, the border between worlds of the living and the dead was at its weakest, which is part of the reason why we associate Halloween with all things spooky today. Interestingly, to avoid being recognized by any wandering spirits, people would wear scary masks to hide their faces or so that they might be mistaken for other ghosts. So how did Halloween get its name? Well, you might have heard Halloween being referred to by a more eerie-sounding name called All Hallows' Eve. This is because the festival of Samhain took place the day before the Christian celebration of All Saints' Day on November 1st, also known as All Hallows' Eve. So, the name of the pagan festival was adapted to reflect the prevalence of Christianity, but it retained its reputation for the scary and supernatural. Talking about skulls and skeletons, they are more than just components of a classic Halloween costume. For Celts, bones were a symbol of mortality, which made them an integral part of the festival. Later, bones became a part of All Saints' Day, which started under the Roman Empire and celebrated those who have passed. Moreover, being a symbol of death and the afterlife, skeletons were also said to serve as a reminder of the presence of temptation and evil in daily life. On the other hand, carved pumpkins are another familiar Halloween tradition, and they originated in Ireland, where hollowed-out turnips with a candle were used to light the way on the night. However, in the 1840s, when large numbers of Irish people moved to the U.S., they found that pumpkins offered a plentiful alternative to turnips, and the modern-day jack-o'-lantern was born. Now, if skeletons and pumpkins don't scare you, then those bats on Halloween night surely do. But why are they associated with Halloween? In the past, the Druids' Samhain bonfires attracted bugs, which in return tempted bats to come enjoy a tasty meal. However, in later years, various folklore emerged showing bats as harbingers of death or doom. Furthermore, in Nova Scotian mythology, if a bat settled in a house, it means a man in the family will die, but if it flies around and tries to escape, a woman in the family will perish instead. Adding to these scary mythologies, women in the 17 and 1800s performed rituals on Halloween in hopes of finding a husband. Single ladies used to throw apple peels over their shoulders, hoping to see their future husband's initials in the shape where they fell. They also competitively bobbed for apples at parties, believing the winner would marry first. And in a ritual that sounds just downright creepy, some thought standing in a dark room with a candle in front of the mirror would make their future husband's face appear in the glass. Bloody Mary, anyone? After a couple of centuries, the first Halloween-like festivities in America started in the southern colonies, as people began to celebrate the harvest and swapped ghost stories with folk tales. Moreover, people started holding Halloween parties that included more harmless games, fall seasonal treats, and fun costumes over witchcraft and mischievous troublemaking. After that, trick-or-treating skyrocketed even more in popularity by the 1950s, when Halloween became a true national event. Today, according to the National Retail Federation, over 179 million Americans celebrate the holiday and spend about $9.1 billion annually in the process. Well, that's a lot of miniature candy bars. And this year, once again, we'll be enjoying our favorite candy and admiring our neighbor's decorations on October 31st. And the only spooky spirits we'll be talking about are the witch and ghost costumes our friends are wearing. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content coming your way.